Okay, recording some more. I trust OBS a heck of a lot more than I trust the software that came with my, um, actually it was called Elgato Capture Device. It's turning out to be about as uh, reliable as a cat is trainable. So, okay, here we go. I don't think it will, the game would have allowed me to go here um, at first. All right. Watch me magically clip my uh, rollerblade wheels into the ground. Okay, and now if I want, I can give her the fake unicorn horn. And on her body, I can put the fake Pegasus wings. Wait, what? Hey, come on. Fake Pegasus wings. Now these actually are very believable because they are just cardboard. Um, it's actually quite believable uh, to look at them on her body like this. But when she gets her real wings, they move just as stiffly as these. Okay, I think it's in Fiends from Dream Valley um, that you end up doing exactly what Sunny did as Applejack. Uh, Applejack has the ability to buck down a tree and form a bridge. Um, and I think she's the only one of the main six who's strong enough to do that. It's almost like a Metrovania, how you pick up um, allies. They have different abilities that let you get to new places. Fluttershy lets you uh, walk on clouds. Pinkie Pie has a double jump. Rainbow Dash lets you glide. Uh, Applejack has the stronger kick so you can knock down trees. It's really too bad that Fiends from Dream Valley didn't go anywhere. It's a lot like my game in that you can switch ponies on the fly. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the final race. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you won't be able to beat me anyway. But as long as you don't fall into the ocean, you'll pass the test. Are you ready, Sonny? You bet. Settle up then. That was kind of weird what her face did at the end. Sort of relaxed when it should have been more intense. A lot of mini games and Two, actually this mini game go. ends pretty stupidly. Yeah, this this mini game ends with Sunny doing a very strange animation. It's one of many things that tells me that this game lacks polish. And yes, I am recording. Good. You know, these hot air balloons are exactly like the G4 hot air balloon. In fact, that's the hot air balloon where you start the game in my Weather Factory Meltdown fan game. I suppose I shouldn't feel insulted, but... Well, what else are they going to use for obstacles in this? If you hit one of these uh, hot air balloons, then Sunny sort of flashes and tumbles and acts like she's just taken damage. But since there's no damage meter, I'd say um, probably you could hit every single one of these hot air balloons and still not fail the game, per se. I mean, I'm not getting every ring. But I think that I'm going to have easily enough score to get uh, the maximum. To get the um, to get rank three, and from there, get uh, all the stars that I can get. Yeah, boing. You see there, she acted like she got hurt. Okay, finished and. Wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> you see, this is not a very polished game at all. And for some reason, Sunny only has the rainbow colors in her mane when she's in alicorn mode. All right, it, it makes a heck of a lot more sense that you unlock Zip for playing in the video games for doing this than unlocking Izzy for doing the crab and bunny herding. Oh, well. 
there is one more mini game. You could call it the final boss, but um, it's basically just dodging obstacles, jumping at the right times. Um, this is really fun, right? I mean, yeah. Well done. You earned your wings. Congratulations! In the name of the royal family. Magic failed for some reason. Pegasi shouldn't even be in Maritime Bay. I'm sure a unicorn did it. They're dangerous. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. Sprout, is that you? No, it's not me. <laughs> I'm going back to Main Street. <gasps> I'll catch him. All right, let me just see if I've gotten all of the Beach Cove stars. I don't think there's anything that I can unlock that would allow me to get more stars if I have to get them via... Um, actually, this might take me straight to Main Street. It did. It took me straight to Main Street. Oh, boy. Well, you know what? I've got 126 stars to go. I will complete the main objective here. You might notice that it is turned from day to night. That's actually, you know, there's technical reasons why that's interesting. Just look at them animating in unison. If I could just call their attention all at once, I need to find higher ground. Now this is one where it forces. Oh wait. I only to ponies talking for <laughs> platforms and the like. Can't talk right now. Unicorns are not welcome here. Can't believe that they had those NPCs in unison moving the sides. Can't you come up with another animation? Can't you see I'm busy protesting? And yeah, they won't let you through here at all. It, it looks like you should be able to get through, but you can't. You know, usually when a person is protesting, there's something specific that they're protesting towards, like a government building or a person's house. Really, that's nasty, but... Oh, well, I'm dragging politics into this, and I shouldn't. Once again, waving them in unison. Still waving them in unison. Not who you are, Pegasi and unicorns. They have the same hooves and hearts and dreams as you. They're not strangers. They're our neighbors and friends. Together, Pegasi, unicorns, and Earth ponies brought back magic and made us all happier. I do like magic. Still waving them in unison. On the high platform speaks truth. <laughs> yes. Let's bring magic back. Can't give up now. I need to chase Sprout. Hundred and ten stars to go. Okay, can't go up to main melody because there's still protesters blocking it. Oh, everybody's here. Hey, Sonny. Sprout has gone into the old Panther Logic factory. We have to chase him out. But every pony in town hates us now. Why bother? It's all a mistake. We are all friends. We just have to catch Sprout, and he'll explain it to every pony. But we can't fly in without magic. It was nice being here for a while. But we should probably go back to Zephyr Heights with Mom. A place where ponies don't hate us. This is not right. We need to fix this. We have to do something, but how can we get past the gate? I'll look around. There might be something. 
you know, the plot is that magic isn't working anymore, and yet, look what Sunny can do. The implication is that Sunny is different. She's special. She's on a different wavelength. Her being an alicorn, that makes a kind of sense, but... They never really... <sighs> Her hoof didn't even touch that thing. And yet it flops over. All right. This is funny. I don't like breaking the law, but if you found a way to jump that fence, I could look the other way. Jumping the fence. Hmm. I certainly hope that me scratching my arm, which I did just now, um, it doesn't come through qua more loudly than the audio here. I cranked the audio of the game down so that you'd be able to hear my voice. But, uh... Thank you for trying, Sonny. But it's too late! It's never too late to help a friend. And <laughs> she gnashes her teeth right at the end. <sighs> Even with those sunglasses, her facial expressions are off. Sonny, should I leave town too? Maybe it's for the best. No! There must be a way to pass the gate. And she's still got that suspicious slash disgusted expression on her face saying that. If I took this ramp really fast, the roller blades. All the cutscenes can't have that quality. It would cost too much. So this is the final boss. If you can call it that. One, go! Jump with this button to dodge the traps. If you can. Jumping is literally the only thing you can do in this. Sprout sets those unicorn traps to try to trip you up. If you hit one, you sort of spin out. I guess you get points from picking up the horseshoes. And obviously I want as many points as I can because uh, that way... Sonny! The bunnies will slow him down! But watch out yourself! <laughs> oh, he's got minions now. Basically, if a bunny's on the ground for Sprout, oof, he'll be in the air for me, and if he's in the air for Sprout, um, he'll be on the ground for me. I have to remember that. Not jumping can be as important as jumping with this. Now, if he hits a bunny, magic or not, we couldn't leave our friends behind. Hold the phone. You couldn't leave your friends behind. How did you get in? I can understand Hitch sending the bunnies in. The bunnies can make it through the bars, but you two can't fly. How did you get in? And they say they'll distract him, but they don't actually do anything. Look. So, what exactly are Pip and Zip doing here? Bupkis! Now, you can see he's not getting any closer. He hit three obstacles in a row, but he's not really getting any closer to me. They don't really add any way to catch up to him. You just get as many... Uh, horseshoes as you can, dodge as many obstacles as you can, get your score as high as you can, and then... Why won't you ever stop? I was gonna say the same thing. Izzy does that. 
And now, if I really want to, I can play as Sprout in the minigames. Makes me wonder, just how many stars do I still need at this point? I'm trying to 100% this. You. You. <laughs> hey, it's okay. We are not going to hurt you. You're <laughs> not? No. We just want things to go back to normal. But that's what I want. The last months have been so weird and overwhelming. So much magic and strange ponies everywhere. I, I just... Sprout, change is hard. I'm normally not fond of things I can't control either. But sometimes change is a good thing. And it brings the best out of us if we open our hearts to it. Zip, your wings! Ooh, magic is coming back! <laughs> Changes are great, like a little touch of makeup. Or glitter! Or like making a new friend. I guess I was being a little overdramatic, wasn't I? <laughs> so, you're not mad at me? Buddy, as long as peace is back in Maritime Bay. We'll all be friends. And friendship is still magic. Hey, Sprout, I have an idea that could cheer you up. No, 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 no. Let's dance! And at this point, the credits roll. <laughs> That's exactly what I had Sunny dressed up in before we started. <sighs> before I started the final boss. So now we get to see all the names of the people we should blame for the game not having enough polish. You know, if the cutscenes had as good of, uh, let's see, facial expression control as the credits here are showing it would be fine and there were some cutscenes that were actually really well done i'm guessing those are the cutscenes that didn't exactly use the game's engine to draw them and even sprout is dancing in typical my little pony fashion he did a heel face turn which um you know, I don't think he ever really did that in any of the movies or TV shows. I'm actually really surprised. He was not present for Tell Your Tale or Make Your Mark, at least not so far. I've only seen one episode of Make Your Mark. I'm recording this uh, in the middle of June. So, yeah, take that with a grain of salt. And apropos of nothing, we... Uh, jump back into the game. This is the post game where I could explore anything. Um, I think that everything's daytime again. You can continue exploring Maritime Bay all you want. Enjoy the mini games again and collect the missing magic. Yeah, and they start you off at the Crystal Bright House. Let me just see what we've got here. Okay, there are some magic bits missing in the Crystal Bright House. Let me see if I can get on rollerblades and look for them. Probably these are the kinds of things that I need to do just by exploring. It could be um, a unicycling station. It could be simply an area that I forgot to look at. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of possibilities for what the missing magic bits could be. The good news is that in each one of the areas, they tell you exactly how many there are. And I'm just going to go to the Bright House Hills. That's like this mostly featureless um area just south of the bright house i think it's yeah izzy's about the only npc you're gonna see here and i got all of them so actually i'm not even sure if izzy was no no izzy came after we passed the bright house and it's really too bad that you couldn't go inside the bright house and look at the ponies and their stuff and you know where they sleep you know i am kind of glad that they explained what happened to sunny's place after uh sprout used his optimus prime knockoff to destroy it and i'm glad that it was better afterwards than it was before that's always to be desired Let's see. 
Let me just make sure that I'm not missing anything down this uh, tree. No, I'm not. <laughs> when you're standing on top of those logs, you go slow. The logs that are just on the ground. All right, let me just check up here. Boingy! Could have swore that I already explored all the way up here. Um, I did. Okay. Now the bunny herding mini game. I know that I got all the bunnies there. Let's see. Now this could be anything. There could be just a sunflower that I forgot to activate, or a table, a unicycling table that I forgot to do, um, to, to, that I forgot to interact with. There's that little Easter egg, same pony as before. All right, I guess it's not up here. It must be past Izzy. What you got? Things were way tougher before magic. Now with a bit of glue and glitter, anything is possible. Or should I say, anything? Okay, that was a dad joke. And why did my clothes suddenly change while I was talking to her? Okay, maybe there's... Okay, here we go. There's one. Okay. Was that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. I think the last of it is... Uh, let's see. I remember that uh, the last two times I 100%ed it, or at least the second time, there was this one optional obstacle course in the uh, town park. So that's where I'm going to go first. Okay, I got absolutely all of them from Main Street. Uh, I'll just make sure that I didn't miss any at Beach Cove. Bonk. You know, this is making me wonder, where's the streetcar, the trolley, or whatever you want to call it, that runs along the main street in Maritime Bay. It's kind of too bad that we didn't see it. It would be perfect for platforming, especially as a moving platform. Okay, I got everything from Beach Cove. So there's only 16 more to go, and I believe that I get 16 magic bits from completing the optional obstacle course. Um, I think it's an obstacle course that you get... Uh, while using your rollerblades, which again, clip right into the ground. <laughs> All right, I think the town park is over here. Yes. There she blows. It'll be interesting to see what they have to do with that sign when they translate this into other languages. Um, with G4, what they always did was um, they made it look a little bit like English, but it was off. Some characters were flipped around. Um, now, why do I think that it was over here? Is there a guard around this place? No? No? All right. Let's see if I can find a guard. Okay. Nope. There are definitely 16 missing here, and all 16 of them are in the town park. There he is. Try the option. Sure, why not? Three, two, one, go! And they don't let you unequip your rollerblades doing this either. Yeah, you complete this and you get the last 16 magic bits, and basically the game is 100%. Um, I think that beating uh, Sprout gets you Sonny's alicorn horn. Oops. And then 100%ing it gets you her alicorn wings, which are not very well animated. In fact, they're not animated at all. 
I already did fly. All right. I unlocked some kind of barding, and yes, the alicorn wings. Now I just have to find a magic mirror, and here's one, and I can show you just how much this doesn't work. So there's her alicorn horn. You can see her mane right through it. Um, and here's her alicorn wings, which are extremely static. They do not flap. They don't move at all, and they are connected to a single part of uh, Sonny's body. I think that the term for that is a bone. There's, uh, let's see, when you do computer animation, um, first you draw the mesh or assemble the mesh, then you put bones inside it, and the computer, uh, bones are these invisible objects that the computer that's doing the animating knows about. Um, it sort of connects the mesh to the bones, and as you move the bones for different poses, the mesh moves along with it. And those wings are connected to a single bone, and they just move up and down and up and down while she's uh, walking or running or whatever. Let me just show you what it looks like. And I'll give her the main melody collar. And she looks like a Chippendale dancer. Oh well. So... Here are her alicorn horns. When she's walking, they swing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Just in complete unison. They aren't even folded up by her body. They're just, like, floating out there. And when she runs, up and down and up and down and up and down. Well, at least the mud doesn't slow her down here. Just the way it goes up and down like that is just very visually unimpressive. There's another thing that you can wear that actually has her mane clipping right through it. Actually, is her mane clipping right through her wings? Her mane is clipping right through her magic wings even now. Just, ah. Okay, the, the, the other object that I wanted to show you is something she can wear on her body. Look floaty from before. And her mane just clips right through it. Just clip, clip, clip. And no, wearing the pool floaty does not let you go into the water. It's just something that you can wear. Honestly, you know, for Weather Factory Meltdown, my fan game, there's a lot more colors that you can wear. Basically, every equipable item in my fan game is rainwear. I plan to have more levels after the Weather Factory level uh, that have different themes to them. Like, it'll be party outfits for the second level. It'll be cold weather gear for the third level. I haven't figured out all of these, but at least there's a lot of different coats, a lot of different boots, a lot of different headgear. A lot of different saddle umbrellas. Um, there's a heck of a lot more variety than this. With this, you got eight types of sunglasses. You got two horns, uh, three hats, a helmet. What's this? <laughs> it's a, what? What? What the heck? A pinwheel unicorn horn. This I have to see. Does it spin when she moves? Uh, no, no, it does not. This is a joke. Okay, and then for her neck, there's uh, four scarves, a lei, a couple of different medals, and a collar, I suppose we'd call that. For her body, we have the barding, which is... Uh, Probably one of the coolest things. Two different bags. Uh, let's see. There's this metal, which... Uh, well, those totally don't interact with each other badly or clip through each other, do they? Eesh. We got two different kinds of fake wings. The real wings, which look fake. And look even faker than the cardboard ones. 
honestly, there's a lot less variety for what you can wear in their game than there is in my fan game. Of course, my fan game is 2D pixel art, and this is actually three dimensions, so not sure how much I should really be complaining. Yeah. The game lacks polish, but... You know, it does a good job of rewarding exploration. It does a good job of rewarding uh, learning how to do some basic platforming. I think that this game is actually perfect for young girls who are not used to platform games in general. For them, it would probably be desirable, especially if they really like My Little Pony. Honestly, the game could have used a lot more polish. They should have had all the cutscenes use the high quality animation that we have for the first few cutscenes, for the last cutscene where they're talking to Sprout and telling him about how change is hard and stuff. If all the cutscenes had that quality, if, uh, if this game had a lot more polish, then it could actually be a pretty decent game. I mean, all the things that happen in it would still be pretty contrived, but that's kind of an inevitability, an inevitability when you have a game like this. I mean, if the main character wasn't doing almost everything, then there'd be nothing for the player to do, if you see what I mean. So, you know, they could have done better. We can hope that they patch it and... Uh, make it much more worth the $40 price tag that was on it. Honestly, for the lack of polish and the fact that you can beat it and 100% it in less than three hours, I would say, in fact, I think it might be less than two hours, or it's very close to two hours, if that. So the fact that you can do that, um, it, it's not really worth the $40 price tag. Oh, uh, well. Thanks for tuning in. There's really, well, I was going to say there's nothing else to do, but I can show you, I was going to say I can show you the mini games. I can show you the mini game menu. I mean, let's look at this here. There's the bunny herding. There's the Dance Dance Revolution knockoff, which um, isn't really that challenging at all. I think they let you wear whatever you like while you're doing it, which is good. They might even let you play as whatever pony you like, which is even better. Okay, you know what? I just have to... What? Two players! Some of these minigames are two players. Okay, this I have to see. What happens if you play a zip and equip the um equip the magic alicorn wings do they let you do that nope Three, two, one, go. all right What was she doing there? Swatting a fly on the ground? Just the way she jumps like that. Oh, it just dawned on me why they had the credits be that dance party. They wanted to reuse these animations. If I had to guess, I'd say that these animations were actually pretty expensive to do. So if they get to reuse them, then guess what? You know, it would be... <laughs> How would it be if they started with these for the credits and then decided, you know what, we need another mini game. Let's just do a Dance Dance Revolution one where the ponies are dancing and you have to hit the right uh, controls.
You know, this is really making me wonder which is the afterthought and which is the plan. Whether this was the plan all along, the minigame with the Dance Dance Revolution knocked off. Whether this came first or the credits came first. I suspect this came first. You know, considering that this was really early in the game. Well, middle early, I should say. And the credits are obviously at the end. Maybe it's okay that they reused this. I mean, at least it's not showing us the same content multiple times. You know, that pose just doesn't seem very zip. It almost seems a little uncanny, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, well, you get the idea. Um, this allows you to play as any... Okay, what happens if I try to play as Sprout during this? Okay, it won't let you play as Sprout. Good. Uh, will it let you play as some pony other than is uh, Sunny? Nope, nope. They only let you play as Sunny, Pip, or Zip here. Uh, bunny herding and, and crab herding classic. You can play as any one of the six. If I play as Sunny for this one, will it let me dress her up first? Play. It just takes what I was wearing before. Huh. Let me just exit the mini game. Play. Oops. Okay, I suck at uh, navigating the main menu. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Well, you know, you've seen everything there is to see, or almost everything there is to see. They start you off outside the town uh, town park there. Yes, I do want to exit. At least it takes a very short amount of time to load this up. So yeah, you can do these five mini-games, two of which are essentially clones. Of each other, I should say. You can play as whatever pony you like, as long as it makes a kind of sense. Um, yeah. My Little Pony, a Maritime Bay Adventure, really could use a lot more polish. The, <sighs> the facial animation is what I really get. There was something that I forgot to comment on. Um, the first time that you see Pip, and she's standing next to Sprout, um, standing right underneath her billboard that you have to fix with pink paint. She's crying her eyes out, and they don't have an animation for her crying. They could have had her with her back turned and just these fountains of water coming from where her eyes would be. That would have been cheap but effective. You know, not everything that's effective is expensive, and... Not everything that's cheap is ineffective. The two facial expressions we got here, those were cheap and ineffective. <sighs> but, uh, you know, the one good thing about buying this game is that maybe they'll give us another one. You know, maybe it would be even better. Maybe something with combat. Maybe something more polished. We can hope. But, uh if I had to guess, I'd say one of the reasons the game lacks... I need to stop wiggling the thumbstick while I'm talking. I forgot that that makes her actually say, Play, minigame, settings. <laughs> it would be nice if a game like this came out that had more polish, more content, uh, more gameplay time. I think combat would pad things out quite a bit. It's not the most pony-ish thing, but... Let's face it, they had an official game. Uh, obviously, it was meant to be a knockoff as if it was on an Atari or something. But they had the ponies fighting. Uh, Pinky shot her party cannon. Twilight and Rarity shot lasers. 
Rainbow Dash had a charge attack. Uh, Fluttershy had her stare, and I think, <coughs> yeah, Applejack had her kick. And you use that to fight Discord, Diamond Dogs, and Iron Will, even though he never actually fought the characters in uh, the TV show. Yeah. So if they can do that, they can put combat in a game like this for consoles. Here's hoping that they do at some point. Thanks for watching. Oh boy, I'm belching like no other. <laughs> That's what happens when you hold it in your stomach that long. <laughs>